Good day viewers, my name is Victor Bamkori. I'm a 300 level law student of Bowen University and an undergraduate intern at Alem Solicitors. Today I'll be giving you an insight into the concept of telecom interconnection of telecommunications network in Nigeria. Interconnection and interconnectivity are two terms that can be used interchangeably as they both mean mutual relationship and connection between two or more entities. Interconnection of telecommunications network is the arrangement between service providers enabling them to connect their services, networks, and equipment for the purpose of allowing their subscribers reach or access subscribers of other service providers. Section 157 of the Nigerian Communications Act, and after referred to as the NCA 2003, defines interconnection as the linking, as the physical and logical linking and connection of, of communication system owned and operated by different or the same licenses for the purpose of sending messages to and from existing systems or respective systems for the purpose of providing services. We have regulations that guide the practice of inter interconnection of telecommunications network in Nigeria. As provided for in the section in section 70 of the NCA 2003, the NCA has powers to make these regulations and they are as follows. We have the Telecommunications Network Interconnection Regulation of 2007. We have the guidelines on approval. We have guidelines on procedures for granting approval of to disconnect telecommunications operators. We have the guidelines for international gateway services and voice over internet protocol, as well as in, as well as the guidelines on the technical standards for interconnectivity of telecommunications. At this point, we have to note that for two parties to interconnect, they have to be meeting of the minds, which is consensus at them. This brings us to the term, which brings us, which brings us to interconnect agreement. This agreement is a legally binding document between the requesting party and the requested party, which is also referred to as the dominant party, containing duties and regulations, and as well as obligations concerning interconnection services. Section 96 of the NCA 2003. Section 96 of the NCA 2003 provides obligations for service providers to interconnect. This means where a requested party receives a request from another service provider to interconnect, the requested party is obligated to accept such request and interconnect to the requesting party. Section 97, subsection 1, A and B provides that any interconnection agreements must be in writing and must be in and must not be in contravention of any of the NCC's guidelines, regulations, as well as principles. At this point, I would give some of the advantages of interconnection. Interconnection helps to increase the use of telecommunication services, therefore boosting and blossoming our telecommunication sector in the country. Interconnection of telecommunications also helps to facilitate fair competition in the telecommunications market. One of the advantages that are also useful to us as subscribers is the ability to reach more, sub more people. If you've ever wondered why as an MTM subscriber, you can call a Glow subscriber or an Airtel subscriber as well as a 9 mobile subscriber. This is due to the act of interconnection. Without prejudice to the provisions in section 96 of the NCA 2003, it is important to know that there are some situations where there are some situations where interconnection would not be possible by virtue of Regulation 1, subsection 5A to D of the Telecommunications Network Interconnection Telecom, Telecommunications Network Interconnection Regulation of 2007. It provides for exceptions to when interconnection would not be obligated. Some of these are when the interconnection agreement is not in accordance with the law. The second is when interconnection cannot be achievable due to technical specifications lack also we have when the tele when interconnection will not be possible because it's when telecommunication will not be when interconnection will not be possible because the license given to sort to the operator is not does not require services that need interconnection moving on section 100 of the nca 2003 provides that parties who have interconnected must remain interconnected but where a party wants to 
when a party wants to disconnect, such party has to do so with recourse to the NCC. This means you have to get a written approval of the NCC to do so. There are circumstances where this, there, there, you cannot just in disconnect and interconnection. There are circumstances that are provided for in paragraph one, sub, in paragraph three, sub paragraph one a to e of the guidelines on guidelines on procedures for, for granting approval for disconnection of telecommunications operators. Some of them are when an interconnected party refuses to pay its interconnect its, its interconnect debt as and when due. Second is when an interconnect agreement has been terminated. Also, when an interconnected party goes against the provisions that are contained in its license, so such so this is a ground for inter disconnection of interconnection. With this being said, we have to know that there are, provi there are provisions for the disconnection of interconnection. Paragraph 9, so paragraph 1 of the guidelines on procedures for granting for granting approval for disconnection of telecommunications operators provides for partial disconnection this is a one way form of disconnection where the credit the, cre the creditor which is a service provider would be able to reach the debtors subscribers the subscriber from the creditors network will be able to reach the debtor subscribers but the debtor subscribers won't be able to reach by either by message or by call the creditor subscribers. With this, I hope I've been able to give you proper insights into interconnection or interconnectivity of telecommunications network in Nigeria. For more information, please visit our website on www.alemsolicitors.com. You can also visit our social media pages at Alem Solicitors. Thank you for watching.